Hi, friends, welcome back to Alice Play World. Bring some more Heroes of the Storm. Today we're doing Auto Tag Taranda, because that seems to be a thing. But uh, full disclosure before we start the video, um, I've been having a really hard time recording, and that's the reason why there wasn't a video yesterday. Because Open Beta just started, and it feels like there's a lot of uh, new players, either really bad or really angry all the time. So I haven't really been able to get a good game. Hopefully we'll be able to do it. This is not particularly a good build to do it with, because we can't really carry a team. But we're going to give it a shot, and hopefully at least it'll be fun. I heed the voice of Elun. Welcome to the Crescent Hall. Enemy team Brightwing, Anubarak, Muradin, Kelfus, and Rhaegar. Friendly team Nazebo, Sonia, Kerrigan, Rainer, and Tyrande. And look at that Sonia Master skin. That's that is nice. That is nice. We're gonna follow her. She's gonna be our friend. Uh, okay, our Q ability Light of Loon here heals ourselves for 74. If we cast it on an ally, also heals them for quite a little bit. So always more effective to cast it on somebody else. Our W ability Sentinel does throw an owl across the battlefield that reveals vision. If it hits somebody, we'll reveal them for five seconds, as well as doing a little bit of damage. Our E ability, Lunar Flare, after a short delay, we basically land it. And then whoever gets caught in that little area uh, gets stunned briefly, as well as take some damage. Our Hunter's Mark marks a target enemy, increasing all damage taken by 25% for four seconds. And reveals them one more time for the same duration. Uh, the first time we're going to be picking up is going to be... Okay, so this is a, a controversial pick, because we're doing auto attack to run build, so remember that. But it's between Season Marksman and Ranger's Mark. Uh, Season Marksman is really good when you have somebody like Kael Thuss that you're laning with because you're going to get a lot of minion kills and that will uh, increase your auto attack damage. For Ranger's Mark, reducing the cooldown on your Hunter's Mark by 8 seconds is a big deal, especially later on when we get battle momentum. So for now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw an owl right th th through the middle. We do see Meriden right there, so that means I'm going to go ahead and try to engage on him. Kael Hunter Mark right on him. And then we're going to try to get the sun on right when he does try to run away, though. Really good engage by the Sonya. Oh, man. I think I'm going to like the Sonya. All right, let's go ahead and just start auto attacking these guys. Trying to poke Murden just to keep his uh, his uh, his block out because it's a really big thing. If he doesn't have blocks, Sonya's going to be able to do quite a little bit of damage to him. So every time he goes within range, I'm just going to go ahead and attack him. Looks like we do stun him. I'm basically trying to poke him. Here comes the owl, another heal on Sonya. We do pick up the kill on him. Come on! Oh, so close! Now he does leap out of the way and saves himself. I don't have uh, heal up. She should be a little bit careful here. As we're going to be able to do that. I am going to go ahead and put vulnerability on Brightwin. Doing a little bit of damage. Here comes the stun. We do land it on, on Meriden. Trying to trade with him. We do force him back yet again. And Sony is fine. She's fine. This is a good setup. Although Rainer does die in the bottom lane there. Let's go ahead and throw an owl. We're going to land it right on Meriden. Let's go ahead and heal her. Here comes another stun. We're going to land it right on Meriden. Doing as much damage as we can. Here comes the Hunter's Mark. However, I don't have health. Oh my god, I don't have health. I'm going to try to come in here and absorb some damage. And we do manage to... Sorry, mana. I didn't have mana. And we do manage to save Sonya from dying. Which is really close. Let's go ahead and hit up the healing well. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not using the master skin, is uh, it is my favorite skin, the master skin from Tyrande, but uh, I wanted some some contrast for the thumbnail, so that's why I picked up this warden nonsense. And uh, and I feel like a red is cool. I mean, imagine my tiger. That's always sweet, right? Let's go ahead and get you. We do throw an owl, trying to go back here. Marion Hunter's Mark going back on him again, but I don't have mana. Let's go ahead and throw a stun. We do. Oh, I thought we landed it. I thought we landed it. And we're gonna trade. I'm gonna go ahead and let Sunny know this is dangerous. I do not have mana. I need to go back to the base. Oh, that's a bad stuff. All right, let's go ahead and heal. Here comes Hunter's Mark on Rhaegar. He's taking a lot of damage. Can we take out the kill? We cannot. I mean, that's a bad idea. Come on. Back out, back out. Maybe I'll have mana. Maybe I'll have mana in time. Maybe I can be able to save her. I'm trying to basically zone. I do need to go back to the base to grab a little bit of health and mana. I can actually hang out here and just grab XP while she does that. The next, talent we're, the next talent we're going to be picking up, Focus Attacks. Again, controversial. Many people are going to tell me that talent is terrible, but I find that it works really well later on when we have the improved Hunter's Mark. Basically, every 10 seconds, our one of our basic attacks is going to do 75% more damage. It's going to get a little bursty. Imagine it critting, if you would. And, uh, and every time we auto-attack, that cooldown is reduced a little bit. It's actually quite powerful when you have really good Hunter's Mark because your attack speed will go up. It means you're attacking quite often. Uh, we're going to try to trade here. However, this is not a good position for us at all. We're trying to set up. Here comes Kerrigan. All right, really good engagement here. Throwing down an owl. Let's go ahead and get on her side. Big impale by a new brag. We're going to throw a stun. He does land on both of them. Putting that Hunter's Mark right there on Meriden. We're doing a lot of damage. Here comes the heal on Sonya. We're unable to really heal her anymore. She does die. However, we do pick up the killer on new brag as well. I'm trying to support Kerrigan here. Uh, not the greatest thing. We do throw out a stun. Who does grab somebody back there, but really unable to do much else. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and poke right when right in the face. <laughs> Just to delay that a little bit longer. It looks like Nazebo finally coming here. Now we're going to go ahead and throw that Hunter's Mark right on Rhaegar. And then try to do as much damage as we can. Really good pick back there. Here comes the stun. No need as we're going to basically auto attack right to death. And now we're going to engage on a new break, trying to chase him out. No need to do anything else. We just got a zone for our friendly team. We do touch the stun. Nazebo gets it in the face. Let's go ahead and put Hunter's Mark right there. Oh, we get trapped by Nazebo, but he does manage to run away. And we won the tribute. So look at that. 
We won the tribute fight now. Back to the lanes. It looks like Kael does a little bit of that position. Remember, Rainer does back away. Level 7, picking up battle momentum now every time we auto-attack something. Our basic ability cooldowns get reduced. Let's go ahead and just engage here on Kael'thas. We do pick up the stun there. Going to put Hunter's Mark on him. Really good engagement there from the Barbarian. We pick up the kill. Throwing a heal out on Sonya. Doing a lot of damage. Here comes the Owl. We do land our right wing and do a little bit more damage with our force back. And now I'm going to go ahead and let them know that I need to go home. Because I don't have any mana. That's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'm going to let them know that I'm going all the way back home. So they're aware that I'm not near here. Look at stats with really the quickly 2,000 healing, 5,000 hero damage, which is keeping up with Rainer actually and passing carry, and we're doing really well. I feel like that's a solid thing. Let's go ahead and join the middle lane because uh, there's two people in the top lane, and Zebo could use a little bit of a hand here. And Kerrigan only has right, Rhaegar. Really good engagement there. He does a lot of damage and does pick up the kill there. Now I'm going to just go really deep here on his own uh, on Meriden. Can we get the sun on him? Yes, we can. Doing all the damage in the world. That wall could have come out, but it didn't. Let's go ahead and throw an owl. We're doing so much damage. We run him out of the lane, which is good enough. Let's go ahead and top off uh, the Zebo and ourselves as well. It looks like the tribute is spawning in the middle lane. Hopefully that Meriden did just drink from that healing ball so he can't get some health. Uh, we do pick up the kill there on Kael'thas in the top lane. Already heading over there. I'm going to throw an owl through the bush to make sure I get a little bit of vision. To make sure nothing scary is happening up here as I get in position. It looks like an Uber egg and a little bit of a pickle. I'm going to go ahead and poke him and try to get out of here. It looks like... Oh, big engagement here. Let me go ahead and heal Sonya. Here comes the stun. We do land on two members of the enemy team. We're forced back. Nothing else we can do here. As I'm trying to run away, trying to dodge any sort of stunning nonsense. We do pick up a heal there on Sonya. Here comes the damage. We're going to throw an owl right on. Right when you just pick up the damage. Here comes the stun as well. He's going to land on all of them. Trying to jump in here. Hunter's Mark going on right when you do pick up the double kill. Healing Kerrigan now switching to Rhaegar, who's the next softer target who's not going to be able to run away. And we do do a lot of damage. We do pick up a kill on him as well. Uh, three seconds to the Hunter's Mark. Here comes the kill on Kael'thas. Oh, we do not, but we're going to be able to heal Raynor up. And then maybe throw a bow that way. No, he did go there all the way. But we do pick up the tribute kill. That's not a bad deal. Level 9 to level 7. Now we're going to be able to push this lane rather thoroughly. Let's go ahead and heal the barbarian up. We are level 10, which means starfall. Uh, I think that picking up... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Shadow Stuck is actually a really good option if you, if you want it. But it does require a little bit better team play. Because it's actually good for setting up ganks. Uh, I feel like with a bug, Starfall does quite a little bit of damage, and uh, we can actually inflate our numbers quite a bit. So I'm just going to actually drop it here and try to stun these guys, because it is going to help us DPS stuff down. It is going to help us kill the Giants as well as do damage to the towers. Here comes Hunter Mark on the Giant, and now we're going to push the fort with all our might to try to kill this before the next tribute. It does look like the enemy team picking up some mercenaries and then the bottom lane. we got to be careful that they're not picking kills on the boss, uh, as we are a little bit out of position. Let me go ahead and heal Sony as they do back away. And then don't let them know there's danger. I'm gonna go ahead and go back base. Back base. I'm gonna go back to base. I just had a, an arrested development moment. I'm going to army, Michael! Alright, we're gonna head this way, throw out an owl to the boss, even though we already know it is there, and just because he cuts through the battlefield. Good engagement there from Kerrigan, almost killing uh, uh, Meriden. She does jump on him, Maelstrom coming out. Can we get there in time to assist? It looked like the enemy team having a little bit of a hard time killing the towers. They've actually been going for the gate, which is actually giving us a little bit of an advantage. Uh, are we mounted? Yes, we are. I felt like we weren't. I felt like we were taking too long. And here comes the reinforcements. It looks like Rainer going really deep with those banshees. going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Let's go ahead and throw a stun. That way we do pick it up, but we're going to be forced back as we are um, a little bit alone. Here comes an owl. We're going to land it. No problem. No, uh, Sony engaging really well. I'm going to try to help her out. Here comes the battle moment. Oh, sorry. Here comes the stun. We do pick up a stun. It's going to try to jump in here in Meriden. Uh, I do throw a heal, but I do misclick there at the last second. And I heal Kerrigan instead of Sonya, and she does manage to die. Let's go ahead and throw an owl. Oh, so close to landing on Brightwing. And we do pick up a curse, though, in the meantime, because Ansevo was being a total team player. Let's go ahead and drop Starfall right there and just zone them back as we were killing their towers. We're in their base, attacking their stuff and killing their dudes. Now that we've broken through, it's time to go right really deep on him. Let's go ahead and throw a stun. We were going to be able to pick it up. And that's going to be enough damage to pick up the kill thanks to the wall. Let's go ahead and heal Rainer as another owl comes out to hit Brightwing. Not even a problem there as we're just going to sit here and auto-attack. Here comes the stun on Brightwing as well as Hunter's Mark. He's vulnerable. He takes a lot of damage. Now let's just go ahead and turn on uh, uh, Nubarak who's by himself. Two levels behind. Taking a lot of damage. And here comes the owl. No need yet again. As we do pick up the kill there well. The next talent is Hunter's Fury. Gain attack speed when using Hunter's Mark. That's just the topping on the cake. The icing on the cake? Because topping would be like ketchup, right? The icing on the cake. Let's go ahead with that. Uh, basically, every time we use Hunter's Mark, now we get incredible attack speed. We've been building up the battle momentum. 
uh, which means we're also going to get a lot of really strong attacks. And well, as well as reducing the, the 10 second cooldown of the thing. Let's go ahead and just engage right there. If we do hit him. Let's go ahead and throw an owl too, just for good measure. Try to do as much damage as we can. And I guess we'll auto attack this for the time being. Although we got to be careful because it does have Pyro Blast. So we got to just go. Time to run. Time to just escape from here. Nazebo getting a little bit cute there with the positioning. Almost gets a kill on Kelthus. Actually, good engagement. Can we get a wall? Can we get a wall? It doesn't look like we can. And now we're going to be forced back. That impale coming out. All right, we're just going to retreat for the time being. That was a, that was a devious plan, but we're unable to pull it off. Looks like Nazebo wants to go kill some giants. I seem to agree with that thought. And uh, I'm actually going to throw an owl that way because I did see what Kelthus is. He does move at the last second. He does pyroblast Sonia. We do pick up a jump there on a new rag. I'm going to go ahead and put Hunter's Mark on this guy. And try to do as much damage as we can. As you can see now, we attack really quickly. Look at that. Look at that. That's a really good job. And we're able to actually clear out the mercenary camps. Uh, I'm sure Nazib is going to cap this. I'm going to go back home. It looks like Rainer in a lot of trouble, though, gets taken down. That was a bad pick because the enemy team is now uh, still two levels behind. Don't get me wrong. They're quite at a disadvantage, but they're sort of clawing their way back into the game every time somebody dies. I'm going to go ahead and tell Nazib that we should go kill this thing. These bruises would be a good pick. He shouldn't be adventuring on his own as we do have two members of our team dead. Big Kerrigan and Marcel are nowhere near you. You can see I was kind of right, so we're going to go here and try to help him out. Uh, point of vulnerability there on uh, Rhaegar. They're also going to stun him, just for good measure. We do pick up the stun there. And now we're going to retreat into the safety of our of our fort. Let's go ahead and throw an owl. We do land it just to get a little bit of vision. Uh, I'm just going to keep poking Rhaegar. I feel like that's the important thing. Ooh, that was really close. If she had landed, that would have been huge. It looks like there's a big engagement there. I'm going to go ahead and turn around. Here comes the Starfall trying to heal Sonya as we're doing a lot of damage. We're basically just going to chase them off. Here comes the Ancestral Healing. Oh, can we go ahead and throw an owl? We do land that on Rhaegar, trying to throw another heal there on Sonya. Here comes another stun on Meriden. We do pick it up. Here comes the Hunter's Mark. Oh, my goodness. So much close. And we're going to go ahead and heal Sonya just to make sure he doesn't die. Good engagement there from Kerrigan. Four seconds to our owl. Can we pick up the kill? Two, one. Uh, uh, oh, we do not land it on anybody. Regrettably. And we're going to be able to throw a stun down there. And stop that uh, Pyroblast nonsense as we are healing up. And make sure we just keep pushing. I think that's a good idea. We do take a lot of damage from that blast. Can we heal? Oh, nobody. We can't heal nobody. And we're going to try to heal Kerrigan. Here comes the Hunter's Mark there on Meriden. He's taking a lot of damage. Here comes the stun. No need. And we throw another owl. Let's go ahead and spread out. Heal this evil immediately. And try to jump here on Brightwing, who's taking quite a bit of damage. And here comes the jump on Kerrigan. He does do Ice Block. We're forced back. Let me go ahead and throw a heal there on Zebo if I can. Good job. And now maybe turn around, although I'm taking a lot of damage, so I'm just going to go home. I'm just going to go home. It does look like uh, she gets... Uh, Sonya talking about who she's getting the slam talent. I'm assuming she's going for the slam, but let's check that out really quickly. What's she building? She did go for Endless Fury, Shattered Ground, a Spear. That's actually a really interesting build. It's going for a little bit of utility with a really, really high burst, which I appreciate. Let's go ahead and throw a random owl that way. Make sure we top ourselves up. Hopefully that owl will hit anybody who sort of gets cute with this. Come on, Brightwing, get out of here! All right, the next time we're going to be picking up true shit or increase our basic attack damage by 15%. Now we're getting really good. We are not going to be able to make it there in time, so might as well turn here and try to kill Rhaegar. I feel like that's a solid plan. Let's go ahead. Hunter's Mark, he's taking a lot of damage. Here comes the stun. Oh, we do not land it, but guess what? No need, because I was going to throw my owl, but he was dead, so that's okay. We did lose one tribute, not a big deal. It's the first tribute in the game, I believe, the enemy team has gotten. 14 to 16, still two levels ahead. They're clawing their way back in slowly. They might be going for the boss. I'm going to go ahead and throw an owl that way. To see if that's the plan. It does not look like it is. All right, we do have Kelthus back here. Uh, we should try to go for their boss, or at least set up an ambush of some kind. I feel like that would be really sweet. Um, but oh, Kerrigan is in a lot of trouble. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. We're gonna try to make our way up there and try to assist. It looks like Rainer and myself have the same idea as well as Sonia. We're trying to go in here and help her out. Uh, she is gonna get taken down. Never mind. She does manage to run away. We're gonna try to go right behind her. This is a good setup. We're gonna go ahead and throw an owl. And here comes Hunter's Mark of Meriden. He's taking a lot of damage. Is he going to be able to run away? I don't think so, because so my stun is going to pick up the kill there. And now we're running really deep behind. Kelthus can carry and get him. I think she's going to be able to, if not five seconds, till we can get an owl out. Oh, uh, two seconds. One. And we're just going to throw a blind owl that way. Uh, I'm going to suggest that I'm going to go get the tribute. Uh, and by suggest, I mean this. I'm going to go through. I'm actually going to stop by to get vision. Uh, just to make sure our friends can see behind me as I do head that way. It looks at like the entire party coming here, though. We're death walling like crazy, which is a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and hide in the bush then, since we're waiting, and throw out an owl this way. Just because he's going to cut across the battlefield and we see where they're coming. We do know the two of them are coming this way. So let's mount up for the engage. We do grab the tribute now. Oh, Brightwind's so out of position. He would have been so sweet. But uh, unable to do anything else. Let's go ahead and get the boss. I feel like that's a sensible thing to do right now. I'm going to stand right here. Uh, I'm just going to pull it. I'm just going to pull it. Are we not doing this? I thought we were doing this. 
I thought, I thought I thought we were no no we're not doing this. Come on, anybody? Any 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 anybody? All right, here they come. I, th I thought we were just gonna straight up pull that because I believe in the chat. It said like right after this we'll do the boss, and then it never happened. So we take one a few legs there. We also get stunned because I was not paying attention to what I was doing. We do kill the boss though, and that's a big pickup. Uh, so I do mount up the enemy team on the bottom lane. We need to go deal with that. They're pushing really deeply on a on a fort. We're gonna try to come in here. Our healing well is completely expended. So I'm going to actually go back here and drink from this one before going to join the team for the engage. Level 18 already, two levels away from level 20, which is when this build starts to get out of control. Looking at the stats really quickly, 27,000 hero damage is not bad at all. If you look at the top damage in our team, that's Rainer with 34,000. For being a support, we're right behind them, and we're right behind the enemy Kael'thas. Which, again, they're two levels behind, so don't, don't, you know, don't take it personal. Go ahead and join on him. So he's taking a lot of damage. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Go ahead and just join here. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal Sonia. I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna try to turn here on uh, Nubrak. We do put Hunter's Mark on him. We do pick up the kill. And now those scarabs are so annoying and so powerful. Looks like Kerrigan is gonna go for the for the tribute there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw an owl and then just join in here. We do pick up the triple kill. Let me go ahead and stick by Sony to make sure I can throw her a heal. And uh, we're gonna wait a couple seconds because I need one more heal. It looks like never mind. The would does not care about waiting. I'm just gonna go ahead and start attacking, throwing out another heal on Sony. Make sure I don't body block her, and we're gonna be able to pick up the kill in our boss here. Let's go ahead and throw an owl that way. Cut the battlefield and have heal up Sony one more time. She's good. And now we should just push with this boss. That would be a good deal. If we push with the boss, that would be huge. Uh, however, the friendly team go into the middle lane to kill Meriden because, you know what? <laughs> we are not afraid of anything. A, a split push wouldn't be bad. Let's go ahead and throw an owl. We do miss it somehow, even though it seemed like he walked right on him, but that's okay. Go ahead and just auto-attack. Not wasting a lot of mana. I'm just going to top off uh, Sonya for the moment being. Let's go ahead and avoid that impale because we don't want to lose a little bit of health. And we'll just auto-attack this, I suppose. Big engagement here. The enemy team trying to poke, trying to find a way around our defenses. It looks like I'm going to go ahead and put Vulnerability there on uh, uh, Rhaegar. We do stun him as well. He comes to kill. We do pick it up. Let me go ahead and seal Sonya as I do attack an Uberak. The Owl coming out. We do hit him one more time. And we're going to be able to pick up a kill here. However, the tribute spawn in relatively soon. Let's go ahead and heal Nova Sonya one more time. Here comes Nexus Frenzy. More attack range and more damage. It's exactly what we want. Let's look at and not get hit by that. Here comes Starfall. Let's go ahead and engage there. Really good job there by the friendly uh, Z1. We do do a lot of damage. Let me go ahead and heal Sonya one more time. Auto attacking. Completely destroying Brightwing thanks to the slam. Got three more seconds down to like a healer one more time. We do pick up a heal there. That was vital. And now I guess we'll just auto attack the core for the win. And that should be it. I cannot put um, Hunter's Mark on the core, sadly. We can put it on uh, Meriden, though, and go really deep on him. Here comes the stun on Meriden. He's taking so much damage. We do pick up the kill on him. And we do throw a heal there on Sonya. We do save her life. And now we're just going to auto-attack the core. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. 39,000 hero damage, 27 and 0. Taronda, she can auto-attack for days. My name is Al. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all next time.